Uh, Sophie, we've got a deck of cards here. I'm going to leave them out on the table. And at the end of the routine, I want you to remember that the pack was on the table at the start. Now, uh, we're going to come to a card in a, in a deck of cards. Now, I want you to think of a number for me. And the way we're going to come up with this number, in a deck of cards, there's 52 cards. And you've got five fingers on your hands. So what I'm going to ask you to do is rub your hands together like this. And so you can warm them up a little bit. And just kind of squeeze your fingers a bit like this. Because I'm going to get you in a moment to extend some fingers on each hand. Now, keep it clean. Don't get rude with it. But just put some fingers up on each hand. But make them different on both hands, because that will make it a little more fun. So you can put some fingers up on both hands. OK, so that's <laughs> very good. So that's a three and a two. Now, that could be two numbers. That could be 23, or it could be 32. It's your choice. Whichever one you pick, that's the one we're going to use. Would you like it to be 23 or 32? 32. 32, you're sure? Yes. OK. So we're going to think of the 32nd card. You can put your hands away now. That's OK. Now, in the pack of cards, we've obviously got four suits. We've got the clubs, the hearts, the spades, and the diamonds. And I want you to imagine that I, I've got the cards on the table here, and I've arranged them into the four suits, the clubs and the hearts, the spades and the diamonds. So we're going to do a little bit of an elimination with them, because we've got to get rid of some of the cards. We only need one card. So we're going to start the elimination. Uh, could you name two of the suits for me? Spades and diamonds. OK, so they're gone. So we have just the hearts and the clubs. Pick one. Hearts. Hearts. Now, in the hearts, we've got all of the picture cards and the number cards. Now, uh, which ones do you find more interesting, the picture cards or the number cards? Pictured. Pictures, OK, or pictured. Either one, it doesn't matter. But the picture cards, yeah? So uh, we've got the jack of hearts, the queen of hearts, and the king of hearts. Could you name two of them? Imagine that I'm holding them here in front of me and name two of them. King and queen. Which leaves me holding only one card. What is that card? Jack of hearts. The jack of hearts. And at the start, you picked a number, and that number was 32, correct? Yes. Now, the pack has been on the table the whole time. And I said before we started to remember the deck was out. Have you taken your eyes off it? Yes. Yeah, but the, <laughs> you're aware that the pack has been here the whole yes, time, though. <laughs> you don't think anybody's run in or messed with this no, deck of cards? No. OK. Um, if you want to take the pack yourself and take them out of the box, and you can see there's nothing else inside the box, it's OK, yeah? And if you could bring the pack over the table here. In fact, turn them face up a moment and have a quick look. Make sure it's a regular deck. Yeah? Yeah. OK, now turn them back face down as if you're going to deal from these cards. And I'm going to get you to deal the cards onto the table face up, one at a time. And as we do, we're going to count them out. OK. OK, so one. that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And hold on here, because if we look at the 32nd card, now bearing in mind that you picked the Jack of Hearts, now I could guess the Jack of Hearts, that's not a very impressive trick, but if we could get the Jack of Hearts into the exact position you said, those odds are like something like 1 in 2,700. Okay. I haven't seen it so far. Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. That's great. 